quick, what about the changeup? Talk about your changeup, the progression of that pitch for you. Yeah, so uh, last night I threw all four seam changeups, um, and I've been throwing two seam changeups most of the year. Uh, so if I'm throwing more four seam fastballs. Why would I not throw more four seam changeups? And that's going to get better with time. I feel pretty comfortable with it. Um, but like I said, I've just been throwing it for a few days, and I went out there and I threw a few. But I'm going to stick with that and try and throw that off my four seam fastball and see where we go. What is the process like for that? Because it, it's so easy for us to say, well, just throw it more. But you can't throw it more if you're not comfortable with it or you're not convicted with it. So how long of a process is that to get comfortable with a newer pitch? I think it varies for everybody. Uh, like I said, I wasn't 100% comfortable with it, but I knew that the way I'm throwing the ball right now, I wanted to get out there and mix it in there last night, and it's only been three or four days since I've been really practicing that grip. So um, hopefully the more reps, there and catch and everything, and get off the mound uh, in a bullpen and be ready for next uh, next start. Last thing, you talked about forgetting about the last pitch. I was talking to Kevin McCarthy when he came back, and he said that was the biggest thing that he learned when he went back, working on the mental side. Once the pitch is over, it's over. Is that another one of those hard things to do? It is, but... You can't analyze and compete at the same time is what I've kind of learned. And uh, you kind of know what, no matter if it's a good or a bad result, kind of forget about it. Get the sign from Baldy or Cam and go in there and try to make that pitch. Well, learning process every single day. Congratulations on the win last night. Great job. Thank you.